Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be reminded every time I upload. This is the set that I did. There's a lot of detail in this and color blocking as well. So I have sped this video up um, quite a bit just so that I can get everything in there for you guys. I'm just going on all ton nails with one coat of my OPI Bond Aid and then I'll go in with my No Lift Nails Acid Base Primer. As you can see, this is the glitter mix I'm actually using on this set. It is my rose gold holographic glitter mix. It has the mixed dots, it has some gold holographic stars, it has hexes, um, all kinds of really cool stuff in there. Uh, so I'm just going with one coat and then my second coat right before my thin clear base of my Mia Secret. So I kind of just like wrap that all around where the cuticle is. I can't really explain it that well, but if I could show you in person, I'd be able to explain it a lot better. But I pretty much have just gotten the hang of it now um, with my acrylic application. And I've finally got it to where I am very happy and pleased with it. And it really shows in the end results of this set. So I wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to fit almost all the footage in because I want you guys to see the color blocking. Um, I used my Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush. I used my Mia Secret French White acrylic i use my mia secret clear i use my mia secret monomer i use my number 14 100 german kolinsky brush that was pinched into an oval um so here you can see me using my french white acrylic to just do my um french ombre nails which is the pinky the middle and the thumb then on the ring finger we do the color blocking or the ring finger is the glitter mix no, I'm sorry, the pointers are the glitter mix, a full nail of the glitter mix. And then the ring fingers are the color blocking with a slanted portion of the free edge in the glitter. Then a black acrylic line blocked next to it. And then the ombre in the upper portion. So it's, it, it was a pretty tricky set. Um, it wasn't too, too hard, but it does take some time. And sets like these obviously take longer than an hour and a half. So if your client doesn't have the time to devote to these kind of sets, then I wouldn't recommend using colored acrylic. Um, if you're looking for a design that's more, you know, time friendly, I would suggest using your gel polishes as your design work. Um, just do a clear nail and then paint over with obviously your gel polish. But I like to use my colored acrylics, even though it takes longer it just lasts longer. You don't have to worry about chipping or anything like that. So as you can see, I'm just finishing up that thumb with the French white. I do, like I said, the thumb, the middle, and the ring, the, sorry, the thumb, the middle, and the pinky finger in the French ombre with the cover nude blush and the French white. And then on the pointer, it's the holographic gold with gold holographic bits mixed on the whole finger on the pointers. And then on the ring, we do the color blocking design. So that's pretty much it in this design, guys. Um, at the end, I do lay the Swarovskis. I did not record that. However, I did record all the color blocking and all that. So please enjoy um, any suggestions, anything you think I could be doing better, quicker, anything like that. Um, anything I could be doing different with my editing or my videos, definitely let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, until my next one, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get this video on for you guys. I don't want to be talking through the whole thing because I really want you guys to enjoy the footage for what it is. I will pop some music on in the background. And until my next one, please remember to hashtag more love, less hate. Hashtag Celise Nail Designs. That is my company. And until my next one, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and turn it gray so you could be notified every time I upload, guys. And, you know, you never know when you're going to hear from Shelly or uh, Patrice or any of my other family members. So Memorial Day is coming up, guys. I wish you all nothing but love and a happy Memorial Day with your friends and family. Until my next one, guys. Bye. I love you all so much. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.